Dez here. In this video, I will be teaching you how to do camera movement in Sony Vegas. So, if you're looking for a camera function in Sony Vegas right now, I am going to have to stop you right there. Unlike After Effects and Flash, us Sony Vegas users do not have a VCam or a camera that has its own layer. We have two functions that are similar to the two. Most people use pan and crop and others use track motion. I tend to use both, but for the sake of time, for this tutorial, I will be going over pan crop. Pan crop is the easiest to learn. In order for pan crop to work properly for you, you will have had to already rendered out a video clip of something you've already animated. One key that will be your best friend while doing this is the S key. If you click on the video clip and push S, it will split your video clip in half. However, if you don't select a video clip and have other things in your timeline and push S, it will split everything. Make sure your video clip that you would like to split is selected. Okay, open your pan and crop settings. All you are really doing is resizing and repositioning the box around the video clip to your liking. Once you have one keyframe with an angle that you like, make another one. And in that next keyframe, pan the camera slightly to whatever side you would like and drag that keyframe all the way to the end of the timeline. A common mistake people tend to make is just leaving their camera still. Don't do that. It makes your scene look dull. Keep the camera moving, unless it fits the scene you're trying to make. Now that you have one scene with one angle, it is time to move on to the next. Pick a spot in which you would like for the first scene to end and then push S to split it. And with that second half of your video clip, do the same method but with different angles. And that's it! Sony Vegas is an editing software, so you're basically just editing video clips rather than doing actual camera movement. I hope this tutorial was helpful for those watching. Um, if you have any tutorial suggestions for something we could do later on in the future, leave it down in the comments below. If you have any questions about anything that I taught, feel free to ask or join our Discord server. Thank you for watching!